welcome to day 13 of the ICC 2020 World Cup from a man and the UAE. This is 52 Beers to a Man with me, Beefy Blake, the world's biggest sports fan, and the Empire Strikes Back, Barath Rao. Barath, man, how are you going? Really good, Beefy. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. You had a bit of a late night last night. Did you stay up all the way through? Yeah, I watched bits and pieces of it. I did see David Warner and Finch getting some runs, which uh, I thought they might. Yeah, if you looked on social media today, you'd think Warner was an absolute world beater. The fact he got dropped by the keeper, which one yeah. anyone <laughs> in the world could have caught. Um, Made Linton Duff look good. <laughs> yeah. In all fairness, I don't think it would have affected the result, to be honest, because no. Australia do bat a long way down. But, oh, it was an absolute sitter. Just running through the results, Sri Lanka 154-46, Kushal Pereira 35 of 25, and Asalanka 35 of 27. Zampa, man of the match figures, 2 for 12 of 4. Actually, the Sri Lankans, considering they're meant to be good players of spin bowling, they really, really struggled against Zampa. Now, Zampa's uh, a very good bowler. I've seen a lot of him at the Royal Challengers, Bangalore, and especially on those wickets, he's... Pretty hard to get away. A smart guy as well. Smart bowler. Explosive yeah. dancer. I'm just and... happy that all my predictions from yesterday came true. <laughs> with uh, Australia winning, Finch and Warner getting a few runs and Hasaranga getting some wickets as well. Yeah, well, that was the strange thing that uh, Sri Lanka probably... I think they probably lost it when they didn't press home advantage with their spinners. Yeah. They opted to keep the seamers on for far too yep. long, and that effectively lost in the game. True, and you had also predicted that Teek Shana could make a difference, but they just didn't get him into the game the way no, I, we would have liked them to. I think the fact that the Aussies got off to a fire against the Seamers, they, they were able to yep. just sit back at the spinners and just see yep. the spinners off. Hasaranga did his best, yep. but it was too late there, and I think they were. It was the highest score in a power play. I think, what were they, 64? Or 66 yes. off their first six overs, yeah. Oh, man, it was over 12 with the run rate. Uh, oh, sorry, I ran over 10. In our stats file, Australia won the toss, decided to field, and ultimately won. Now, I found this on the internet today. Because luck seems to be playing a major role with the toss in this World Cup so far, they should play a super over to determine who bats first, then the luck of spinning the coin. I reckon that's a great great idea. Have a super over, and then if you win the super over, you get to choose whether you feel first, basically. So who feels first in the super over? <laughs> yeah, well, you actually have to toss for that, but I don't think the yeah. toss will play too much of a, too much of a yeah. part in the old super over. Oh, I'd love to see that to kick off the game instead of a bat flip. In all 2020 cricket, get there early, you play a super over, you win the... You win the Super Over, and yeah, I think that's great. Ah, oh, it's great, but the risk you run, I guess, is uh, the exciting part is done in the first five minutes of the game, as opposed to <laughs> just... the game itself. People might rock up just to watch the Super Over and leave after that. <laughs> it's not going to be exciting, as exciting oh, after that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Uh, beefy Fast Facts. We just mentioned nine out of ten games so far, so far in the Super 12s have been won by the chasing team. Scotland 60 all out chasing Afghanistan's 190-odd, the exception. Uh, nine out of ten games have been won by the team that have won the toss. Bangladesh elected to bat first yesterday versus England. Now, how's this? Because people are jumping on the back about the chasing team in 2020s, since 2010, there have been 1,164 results in 2020 internationals, 582 wins for the team batting first, and how's this? 582 wins for the team, batting second. So it's an absolutely 50-50 split since 2010. Yeah, yes, Pifi. It's, uh, I do think, though, that the culture has been changing lately. Because in the past, it's win the toss, bat, put a score on the board, put pressure on the team. Yeah, And that's been fairly traditional in terms of approach. But I reckon in the past five to six years, teams have been more inclined to chase know what the score is, not what, know what they're going after and then plan their innings accordingly. So that, that yeah. stat might flip on its head, but that's fantastic as to where we're currently standing, 582, 582. Unbelievable. 
Now, Finch's uh, 30-odd last night took him over 2,500 international 2020 runs, moves into fifth place. He probably was already in fifth place, but there you go. Now, if you'd have said to me who were the top four, I probably would have got two, possibly three, definitely not four. Virat Kohli is the top. I would have got him 3,216. Yeah, I would have got him too. Yeah, I would have got, got Rohit Sharma. Yeah, you would have been an Indian fan. I probably wouldn't have got Sharma, considering he's number three at 2,800. Martin Guptill's yeah. nearly up round the 3,000 mark, 2,956. He'll probably go past 3,000 in this tournament. Now, number four, we have talked about him. <laughs> Paul Sterling of Ireland is wow. all-time number four, 2,570 runs. Uh, and as we just mentioned, Finch has just moved on to 2,510. So, I wouldn't uh, have yeah. picked Guptill and Sterling. The numbers speak for themselves. Definitely can't argue with the numbers now. That is raw facts. Uh, hat wearing league. Now, at one stage last night, Finch did have three hats on, um, but he's going to get nowhere near Mamadullah's four and uh, Bavuma's three hats, three sunglasses, and one hat down his pants. So Mamadullah still out in force there. Here are the highlights from last night's games. Oh my God, he's charged someone bowling at 148. Wow, oh, beautiful, oh, what a great yes. response from Stark. That is superb, just what you want. Amazing. Such drama in the first three balls. Yeah, great six and then Starkey coming back with a 90 mile per hour Yorker. And again, that is a wonderful drive from Aaron Finch. Oh my God, he's charged someone bowling at 148. How good is that, Aaron Finch? Oh, here he goes, here he goes. He pulls out the tricks. He's like the sorcerer, the magician. Just loves to play new tricks, even the old ones. That is one hell of a position Glenn Maxwell got himself into yeah. playing that reverse. Uh, it, yeah, effectively, it is a reverse sweep, but uh, yeah, it's just tremendous. Now, the one thing about that Stark delivery, I saw an overlay today of him bowling at Stokes in the 2019 yep. Yep. World Cup, and yes. the delivery is just exactly the same. Two, two in-swing in Yorkers, both smashed into the bottom of the stumps. When he gets that delivery going, he is basically impossible to play Stark. Nah, nearly unplayable. Yeah. One of the guys I saw play those swinging deliveries well was Richie Richardson. He used to play that against Waka Yunus and just give himself room, swinging in, uh, almost flat back to third man, just open the face of it and run it down to third man for a boundary, more yeah. often than not. So it's, it's so hard to play. Very, very tough. Kushal Pereira smashing start for six and getting bold next ball. Probably wasn't the best. Um, and very quickly, what I saw with the Sri Lankan seamers last night, they just didn't get their length right. They're either too short or too full, and they just got punished because of it. Yeah, um, I still believe that they didn't get enough runs on the board. With the, the security of, say, a 175, 180 score versus a 155, they could have been more confident in themselves. wasn't meant to be. If you don't hold on to catches, if you don't uh, put enough runs on the board, yeah. y your feeling well, has to come good, and it didn't. Yeah, I also think if you get 180 on the board, you can you can bowl your big guns earlier and get yeah. the team chasing behind the clock. Um, and, yeah, like you say, 150 probably just wasn't enough to play with. Jumping into the group standings, England are still top of Group 1 or Group A, whatever they want to call it. Australia now moved into the top two. I think England versus Australia is Sunday night. We will check that a bit later. So, Africa and Sri Lanka both on one win each. Bangladesh versus the West Indies is tonight. So, we'll, well, one of those teams will get on a winning role. In Group 2, Pakistan, Afghanistan, one versus two is tonight as well. That is a crunch game. If Afghanistan win against all odds, then it is going to be a tough road for India or New Zealand to actually get into that top two. Yeah, true. I do think that Afghanistan are a good chance of winning. It'll just make the group a lot more interesting. Oh, be some key games yeah. on the yeah. run in then, quickly followed by South Africa versus Sri Lanka. And like I thought, uh, Sunday night is England Australia. That is a crunch game. Uh, the crunch game also on Monday is India 
versus New Zealand. So there are a couple of really crunch games coming up over the next few days. Tonight's odds, West Indies $1.45 to beat Bangladesh 275. I think the West Indies have to come good at some stage. Uh, I don't think the Bangers are in the best of form, to be fair. Um, it may well come down to the toss. Yeah, I agree, Beefy. I think uh, West Indies are going to come good soon. And I just can't see, given Bangladesh's performance so far, I can't see them putting it past them. West Indies lost by 60 runs to Afghanistan in the warm-ups. You never know. <laughs> well, talking about <laughs> Afghanistan, they're $3.50 to beat Pakistan tonight. Pakistan has a couple of good wins on the board, but we both think this is a lot closer than those odds suggest. And think, True. well, you've got an inkling, I've got an inkling that Pakistan may, <laughs> may roll over tonight to let Afghanistan get in pole position to qualify from the group. I'm just putting it out there. Just put it out there. It could happen. It could happen. It could happen and it probably will. Anyway, <laughs> we'll go back to the uh, top ton on run scorers. All of a sudden, Varek Kohli is favourite. Wizran is at $10. We'll see if he can perform tonight as well as Babar Azam. David Warner's after last night's knock is into 11 to 1. Jason Roy floating at 17 to run. Here's the top run scorer so far for the tournament. Mushfika Rahim, 135 runs. Naeem, also a Bangladesh, 131, and then it is an absolute logjam. There's no big runs being scored so far, but we have a couple of games to go. Most wickets is Shakib Al-Hassan with 11, Josh Davy at 9, and then the three Sri Lankans all on 8. Thiksana, Kumara, and Hasaranga. Shakib is still $7 favourite to take out the most wickets in the tournament. Rashid Khan, $10. Thiksana, 11, and Stark after last night is into 13. What else have I got? The tournament winners. Pakistan is still $3.50. England and India at 4 bucks. After Australia's win last night, they have come in to $5.50. So a few Aussies getting on the uh, the bandwagon there thinking... Yeah, that... India were three seventy five yesterday. They moved to, down to 4 now. I think all that money for About Afghanistan yeah. to beat Pakistan has probably <clears throat> drifted them out a little bit. Yep. Yeah, Afghanistan keeps shorting. And the West Indies, $67, keep drifting out. Now, Pakistan are playing tonight. I didn't realize we hadn't done any Pakistani cricket songs, so I delved into the vaults to find this one. <laughs> ICC men's T20 World Cup right at event. Bouncer right to the helmet, straight to the tent. Never giving up, fighting right to the end. One tip, gunny may straight to the pen. Catch drop, gunny may straight to the slip. Mic drop, karu may get the heavy cutting house at. Listen up, kid. Don't get lost in the middle of the game. Your carapani at the Kennedy Witch. Your companion slow like Pentium 4. Kasi beta maro ke six like Atish Bazi. Killing him and the Ghani Mani. Which is your teha la Tungami. Sadaka the practice car ke vi bana la Kwami. Yes, can come up from the weakness. As he can eh on a sub tea care. Ye mushkile or Rukaba te hatai hum di bar and girai. So we just hit him with the rhythm and the sound, hit him with a little bit of energy around. Pitch him in the oh, tell him it gone. I do better set a colo mother, but oh, cheat the hard Nikki body, nay, fame, he jay, not a baya, outside a milligan, not a lay, set a home ground, you see the bay, such to yay, we got the best grounds in the world, we got the best crowd in the world. Masculo, masculo, in the just by fans like these, we don't like to back down, they want to see the radius of the stadium back. We want to see the day that we get to bring you back.
high budget production there from the Coke <laughs> Studio for Pakistani cricket. So they're all over it. Apparently, they got the best grounds and the best crowds in the world. And there we go. It has been already mentioned on this show about tonight's game is basically East Pakistan versus West Pakistan. They are brothers in arms, these two, really. I think we're going to get an absolute belter of a game later tonight. Can't wait. It'll be fantastic. I still Definitely. think Afghanistan's going to win. I'm leaning that way. I think that. I, I really do think the spinners are going to play an important part. And, uh, well, we know the toss is going to be an important part. Look, they bat well at the top of the order and they've got spinners to tie the Pakistanis down. We've only seen a couple of the Pakistani batters so far as well. It's, yep. uh, it's going yep. to be it's a crunch game. It really is. Uh, I'm not really too bothered about the bangers and the windies because I don't think that is going to play a part in the pointy end of the tournament. No, it won't. It'll still be good to see West Indies win. Yeah. Well, definitely. And I'd like to see Chris Gale get bucket loads of runs. But, uh, yeah. because They should open then, the 10. I think he should. I don't understand why he's batting a four. It doesn't make any sense to me. Hopefully tonight is the night they put him up the order and give him a bit of freedom to do what he does best. Indeed. All right, mate. I'm going to let you get off. We will be back same time, same place tomorrow. I think you're leaning West Indies and Afghanistan same as me. One upset and a return to form for the defending champs. 52 beers, so man. Tomorrow at some stage. Thanks, man. Have a good night. Bye. You too.